Hello friends, welcome back and uh, today we are going to create two threads. Uh, I mean, I'm going to demonstrate you an example where I will create two threads. One of the threads will be the reader thread and the other thread will be the writer thread. Writer thread will try to write something to this array which is having 10 elements and initialized with 0 and reader thread will try to read the same array. Okay, so we will see two things like if both reader and writer, if they are both running at the same time, then what will happen? And if we have to manage like a writer should be able to write first and then reader should be able to read it, then what I need to do? Okay, so we will see that, that how we can do that. But apart from that, I would like to tell you one thing that Apart from this program, you need to take care of all those things which I am explaining you and I will keep noting uh, all the concepts related to that. I will make a note all of them between these, these comment sections. Uh, so you need to note them down so that uh, you are uh, aware about the concepts because whatever I will explain and I will write among these uh, comment sections, uh, those are very much important for you and uh, without understanding them, you will not be able to write a good program where you have used a thread okay so before i start uh, this program writing uh, writing this program i would like to explain you few things like one concept is related to the handles what are the handles what is a handle basically right so let me just explain you through a excel sheet this is the excel sheet what happens like uh, when your program starts when you start a program when you double click a program and it's created it, it gets loaded into the memory virtual process address is virtual address space is created for your program then apart from other things one process handle table is created for your running process right for your running program so handle what is handle in that uh, table handle is the index of the kernel object used by your process oblique program in execution right when your pro, when your process process is running then in that case your process handle table is created and that process handle table contains the index for the kernel objects contains the index of the kernel objects in the table wherever they are stored in the table like right so I will just show you that how they are stored and what is the meaning of the index okay so when I say that your process gets started then in that case a process handle table is created and there are various columns in that table just like in a table you have various columns that process handle table also have various columns and uh, since your program can use many resources of the kernel so that information the information regarding the kernel objects which your program is using all that information is stored inside a kernel table kernel hand, uh, inside a process handle table right like if your program is using a file then your file is also a kernel object which is a, which is managed through a kernel object your thread is also managed by a kernel object as i explained you in the previous video and also uh, like if you are using the mutex semaphores um, shared memories all those things pipes name pipes all those things are the kernel objects and all those are managed by the kernel but their information is stored inside the process handle table when your process gets created and whenever uh, whenever at the runtime your pro program is creating any new kernel object that information is stored inside this process handle table okay so suppose uh, your program is containing three threads so so the information regarding the threads will be stored in this table because a thread is a kernel object associated with it so it may be like this is the first index where your kernel object thread kernel object is stored this is the other and uh, this one is the third one where your uh, which is the index of the um, uh, kernel object where it has been stored right so these can be these will be representing the index of the kernel object index of the kernel object means not the address of the kernel object because kernel has been maintained kernel is getting maintained in the kernel memory so in the kernel memory uh, they, these objects are getting created so 
you cannot refer directly to the kernel memory so what happens like when you create a kernel object then that in, then the information is maintained by the process handle table and wherever the information regarding that particular kernel object is stored all that information is referred by this table and in this table you only have the index of the table where that particular kernel object is stored and you cannot access any of the kernel object you cannot directly access any of the kernel object you only have this handle like thread handle or the uh, process handle uh, if you are launching any other process through your process or the file handle that you are using in your program so all those things are stored here uh, and are referred here through the handle only and uh, or you can say the handle is the index in this table index of this table index means the row number so this is the row number where your particular information uh, where the information about a particular kernel object has been stored so this is the way your kernel objects are getting maintained inside the memory inside the process handle table in the memory right so this is the way your process handle table is maintained this is just a view of the process handle table like how uh, it looks like and how it maintains right so this is a basic uh, concept like how your process handle table is created and what is the meaning of the handle so when i create a handle when i create a thread then that thread uh, then the api using which you will create the thread then that particular api will return me a handle and that particular handle will be the index in the process handle table where the information about the thread that particular thread kernel object will be stored please remember that thread itself is not a kernel object inside your program but there is an associated kernel object which is maintaining this thread so that particular kernel object information will be stored here right so this is the concept how your uh, handles are stored in your uh, process process handle table right so when you are creating two threads or any number of threads or any thread then in that case you first need to create the handle of the thread you need to you need to know the handle of your thread which you are going to use so th reader and uh, handle th writer so these are the two two threads which i will create and uh, using these two threads what i will do i will uh, you, i will create uh, two pros, uh, two uh, functions one function for the reader thread and the other function for the writer thread as i must have explained you in the previous video that every thread has an associated function from where it starts execution right so reader and writer both threads must have some function from where they will start execution okay so let me just write those two functions so one function is one is reader and the other one is the writer one is reader the other one is writer right so in the reader what i will do read from the array and in the writer what i will do write to the array okay so how we will create the threads and how we will uh, use those threads to read and write from this array from and to this array uh, that i will explain in the next video because this video will get longer and you will feel bored and that is why i am stopping this video here in the next video i will show you that how you can create these two threads and how you can use these two threads inside these uh, functions to read and write from this array okay read to and write from this uh, read from and write to this array okay sorry for my english okay so just uh, let me stop this here and in the next video i will explain you